candidates who are willing to pursue be it in government or private institutions have to take up this state level entrance examination APEV set. I hope you are well aware of this. Now stepping into the preparation part of you, you should make sure that you are very well aligned with the examination pattern as well as the syllabus for APEV set. Well, welcome back to Freshest Now channel and in this video we are going to discuss the same thing. We are going to give you all of the detailed information regarding the exam pattern and syllabus for AP ED set. Stick on till the end and do not miss any section of this video because you are going to get all of this in one space from exams.freshestnow.com. All you need to do is head over to Google and search for AP ED set syllabus Precious now and once if you search the first link that you are going to see is from Precious now. Give a click on this and this page will be opening up for you. Starting off with a basic introduction about the exam, we are going to head over to the briefs where as to how the examination is further organized and also giving you the access for the official website as well in the same page. You have to check the official website because timely you would be getting any updates or latest information regarding the exams. So don't forget to visit the official web portal of Andhra Pradesh State Council of Higher Education. Before I head over to the main set of the information, I would like to request you all to join our telegram channel because through telegram you are going to get the updated news instantly regarding all the entrance exams. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you would be in alignment with our latest videos of all the entrance exams. Now heading over to the main section of the video which is going to give you the overview of the exam, the details. So the university is Sri Venkateshwara Tirupati and this is an AP education common entrance test. Here is the official website again giving you an immediate access or an instant access right itself. Now heading over to the examination pattern in detail along with the scheme of marking. This table will give you the exact idea or the replication of the examination. Now this exam is divided into three parts where two parts are considered mandatory and the third part you have to choose your subject which is going to be an optional basis. So according to your majors you can actually adopt your subject criteria. Now part A and part B as I've said it's mandatory. Part A is general English. General English carrying 25 questions for 25 marks and next you have general knowledge in part B and teaching aptitude. Here in general knowledge you have 15 questions carrying for 15 marks. Teaching aptitude you have 10 questions for 10 marks. Now in part C as I've said it is optional basis. So one of the subjects according, according to your major can be chosen. Mathematics carrying 100 questions for 100 marks and physical sciences you have physics and chemistry. Here you have 50 questions for 50 marks and biological sciences you have botany and zoology 50 questions for 50 marks and then social studies, geography, history, civics and economics all together summed up for 100 marks. Then in English you have 100 questions for 100 marks. However, in part C the totality of the marks is based on 100. So 100 questions is going to be for 100 marks divided according to the subjects of criteria. The examination duration is going to be for 2 hours. So as you can see the time duration for the exam is going to be for 2 hours. Heading over to give you an insight about what we have discussed. The subjects include general English, general knowledge, teaching aptitude, mathematics, physical sciences, biological sciences, social studies and English. These are the subjects of the examination and the marks allotted for this exam is going to be for 550 and there are no such negative marking in the whole exam so don't forget to opt the answers as many as possible. Then candidates you have to make sure that you are answering all of them as there is no negative marking there is nothing to lose. The examination is going to be for two hours also a suggestible tip is to always practice mock test because that is going to give you a brief idea as to how you are managing your time as well as how quick you are in answering the questions. Next we are heading over to the syllabus part. So first off you are going to 
have much concentration on the degree subjects which is under BA, BCom and BSc from the period between 2019 to 2022 and this syllabus would be covering up part A, part B and part C concerns. So first as you can see for part A general English you have topics like reading comprehension, correction of sentences, articles, preposition, tenses, spelling errors, then you have vocabulary, synonyms and antonyms, transformation of sentences like simple, compound and complex sentences, voices, direct and indirect speech and next section is part B. So for part B, you have general knowledge and teaching aptitude. Here you have to be aligned with the current affairs as well as the teaching methodologies at one pace. So questions which be, be desi uh, designed as to test the ability of the general knowledge, which where you would be knowing about the current events, the observation of daily scientific outlooks and also the test would be conducted in relation to India and its neighboring countries. What is the culture, history, geography? and the economical perspectives are and then scientific research and other policies and in teaching aptitude you have to be focusing on topics or subtopics like communication the ability to recognize the individual differences general intelligence and analytical thinking characteristics of a good teacher and the training capabilities and also teaching aptitudes in respect to the aspects and various other parameters and the methodologies that are included in teaching. So these are the subtopics or the topics which are coming under the same roof of teaching aptitude. Now next in part C as this is optional like optional based selection for each of the subjects you have to make sure that you are picking out your majors very conveniently and the syllabus is going to be in accordance to the subject that you have chosen for mathematics, physical sciences, biological sciences, social studies, you have geography, history, civics and economics and then you have English. For these uh, subjects or for these kind of sections you have to be first clearing up your foundations which is beginning from class 8 to class 12 and then you should be also knowing the language functions the elements of phonetics grammar and also various verbs writing skills study skills and also the reference skills the syllabus would be prescribed optional at BA degree level as well BA special English modern literature and also the syllabus based questions which is carrying for 50 questions for 50 marks. I hope that you have got a clear idea as to how the exam is going to be like and this is going to give you a deep insight as to how you can align your time in your preparation and make your preparation much more easier. So don't forget to stick on with us by subscribing to our channel and make your preparation much more convenient through Freshest Now itself. Thank you so much for watching.